Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson I'm going to show you how to get your character to disappear off of the screen by using the hide function. So what we have here we have a dog and a door and we have some code written for this dog that's going to get him to walk across the page. So I'm going to click on it now and let's have a look what happens. So he walks across the screen and he gets to the door and it's like he's walking in front of the door. If I want to make it so it looks like he's walking into the room that's on the other side of the door, I want to hide him as he reaches the door. And we, to do that, we use the hide function. So first of all, we need to tell it when we need to hide. And to do that, we use an if statement. So under controls, we've got an if statement. So let's pull that over here. So if he is touching the door, then he will hide is what we're going to do. So touching lives under the sensing. So let's go over to sensing and we'll see we've got touching and we'll pull that over and we'll pop that over the top of the hexagon there. So but instead of the mouse pointer, we'll say if he's touching the door. So if when our dog touches the door, then, then we need to go and find hide. So if we go to looks, and we find hide is right down the bottom and we'll put that in there. So when he's touching the door, he will be hidden. Well, now we need to go and put this code into our code. And so we want that to sit within the repeat. It's going to be sitting within the repeat, but just at the bottom. Just move this one back up above so it's sitting like that. So he walks across the screen, changing his costume as he's walking, and then if when he gets to the door, he will hide. So should we have a look at what that looks like? So he starts over there, walks towards the door, and he disappears, so it looks like he goes behind the door. So that's how we get him to hide. Only other thing worth noting is if you've done something there where you've hidden him, if you're wanting to start again. You need to have where him appearing back on screen, you need to show him again. So you notice there's an option that's under the looks, there's show. So if you've hidden him, the next thing you need to do is show him. So to start the game each time, I get him to show. And then he will hide in my code. Okay, so that's how you hide a character, which is particularly useful when you make if you're making an interactive animated story. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.